Hi everyone, today um, I'm going to be showing you one of my new purchases. Um, it is none other than the Louis Vuitton Speedy Bandelier 25 and this is in the monogram canvas. So I actually um, got this um, about a month ago, so I got it before um, the price increase here in Australia, um, thankfully. Um, and I tell you what, I've been using it for um, the last, well, four weeks since I've had it non-stop and I love this bag, like I'm madly in love. And I'm kind of surprised that I haven't um, purchased this bag sooner. Um, so this one anyway, it is the Speedy Bandley N25 and the model for this, the model number is M41113 um, and it actually has the bandolier strap so it's different to the sorry this is the 35 um, but as you can see on the 35 it's got the leather tabs at the end um, and on the bandolier you've got the reinforced um, leather strap down the sides down the edging um, but anyhow so this is um, the strap without the extender on it um, and basically I've got it on the longest length so I can show you that against myself so that's where it would sort of drop um, with the extender strap so this is the extender strap that you can add on. You can actually wear this bag crossbody, um, which I'll do in another video. Um, but today I'll just show you. So in length, it's 25 centimeters. Um, it's 19 centimeters in height by 15 centimeters in width. Um, this bag holds a ton for such a small bag. Like it's really not that small and it holds a lot in here. It has the double zipper closure. So on the traditional Speedy, there's just one zip. On all, all the bandoliers, there's two. And it also has through the zip like a little, I don't know if you can see, like a little loop where you can attach the padlock and that's where I tend to keep mine. I don't want to attach the padlock to here because I've seen in time you start to get like a little bit of tarnish from the padlock which would appear and start rubbing on here and I don't want any dark spots or black marks appearing on the side. Um, it's just a big pit inside, I don't know if you can really see. It does have the pocket inside. Um, as they all do. You've got your date code, which is underneath the pocket. Just trying to show it. So it's here. And so this one was made in the sixth week of 2015. And on the newer models, the stitching on this little leather tab here the stitching actually goes over the brass like stud i'll show you the older one so it finishes below as you can see so that's just a little different um the hardware is lovely on this there's not a lot of difference between the colour. Might be hard to tell in this light. Yeah, it's not really showing up. But there's not, in real life, there's not really much colour difference at all. So it says Louis Vuitton on here. And that, obviously, it's a twistable strap. And it's just a little, it's very simple to click on and off. Um, what have we got? The buckle. And you'll find the size will be stamped 
from Becky Young. So we've got your 25. Um, comes with your padlock and your set of keys. So this one here, it does have the deering inside. So you can attach your keys or like Kles card holder. Um, I have not on this bag, but on um, other bags that have the natural cowhide finish. Um, if I am out caught out in the rain, which I have used this out in the rain, obviously I'm more cautious that it doesn't get wet. Um, but if I'm caught out and I do get a couple of little raindrops on, which has happened, um, on the website it recommends that you use a soft, lint-free, light-coloured absorbent cloth and you quickly wipe it down. And I've done that and it doesn't actually stain. So touch wood, um, you know, it will work in the future. So that's happened, you know, a few times, not on this bag, but on other bags. And as I said, you couldn't tell there was any raindrops on there, you know, straight away as soon as it happened, I gave it a quick wipe down. Um, I don't actually use any products on my bags. Um, as far as the lever is concerned, I won't use baby wipes um, or lever protectors or leather cleaners. I just like them to age naturally the way that they're sort of designed to age. I mean, obviously, if you get the monogram and the untreated cowhide, you do have to be more cautious than if you were to get the Damia Abine. But I actually think it looks lovely when it does patina naturally. Like, I love that lovely honey-coloured look, and I guess you can take pride, um, you know, knowing that you've cared for your bags, and, you know, that's why it's got a lovely, even colour. Um, what else can I tell you about this? Um, sorry, that's a bit of noise. Um, I have tried on um, a few bag charms on this bag, but I actually prefer it just the way it is. Like on all my other bags, I will put bag charms, but on this bag, I think because it's smaller, I just prefer to wear it the way it is rather than cluttering up the bag. Um, that's just my personal opinion. I have seen other people with this bag and you know, it looks nice on, but just my personal preference, I prefer it without. Um, I have to say, um, the iPad mini does fit. Some people do say that this zip closure isn't very big, but, you know, I can fit an iPad mini in there. Um, you know, I have the iPhone 6 Plus. Um, I use this currently at the minute as a purse. And, you know, that fits in there. So if I can fit the kneeler in, I mean, I probably wouldn't keep putting her in like that. She will go, but I probably wouldn't keep doing that because I'd probably scratch up, you know, some of the canvas, but she'll fit in. It's just a massive pit. Like you'd be surprised how much this bag can actually carry. And I, as I said, I do have the size 35s and I wouldn't sell them. I would still be keeping them because I do use them a lot. Um, it's just nice to have the smaller size. You know, if you go out, it's nice not to have to carry such a massive bag. You know, if I'm not carrying a lot of things and I want to carry, you know, a smaller bag, this is perfect. And you know what? I would love to get this in the Damier, whether it be Azure or the Abin. I just love this bag, I'm obsessed with it at the minute. So um, I would definitely do um, a review in a few more months um, and let you know how it's going. But so far, oh, I didn't mention, that's where you've got your stamp. So this one is made in France. Um, so that's running along the side. Um, on the other side, there isn't actually anything. But so far, um, you know, I've managed to nurse her pretty well. <laughs> so all the patina is very even. I haven't managed to get any marks um, put on. But as far as if you wanted to put the extension strap on, it's as simple as just 
attaching her. So you could carry this around in your bag, um, you know, in the event that you want to pop her on. And it's nice, you know, to have that over the shoulder option. So as you can see, it extends the strap quite a fair bit. Um, I haven't actually used her like this because I just use her with the smaller strap and just carry her over my shoulder. Um, but it's just nice. On the Speedy 35 um, that I have, it's not the bandolier, but I can attach a strap to that. It is a lot of extra money to have the bandolier option. So it all just depends, um, you know, if you want to spend that um, extra amount of money to get her. If you do, you won't be disappointed. <laughs> you know, it's a lovely bag, but yeah, you just have to factor in if you want to spend that kind of money. So there you have it. That's the um, Speedy Bandelier 25. And I'll be doing um, another video um, very shortly on what will fit inside her. Um, so yeah, um, I do have a few other pieces as well. So I'll be doing videos on them very shortly. Um, so thanks for watching. Bye.